Hi viewers and welcome to Stamping and Crafting with Ali. Today I'm going to be using the Big Shot Mini Treat Bag Thinlets dies. And in this bag you get the dies to make the actual mini treat bag. And you get a few other little options in here too. So there's lots of tags, bits and pieces, some words, a ribbon. So it comes a bit jam-packed full of stuff. So I've gone ahead and I've already cut the two pieces that make up the bag and that's very easy to put together. You just use some double sided tape lining it up end to end folding through and scoring like so And there you have it. I'm going to do something a little bit different with my mini treat bag. I'm going to make mine up to be more of um, a bag to hold a note card. And I've had these Project Life cards. They've been developed by Becky Higgins. I have the larger size ones which I've cut down so that they fit inside these pockets. So here's one that I've cut down. That slides in the mini treat bag quite well. Uh, for a message and then I concentrate on decorating the front. I'm going to do that using some washi tape and this comes from the Stampin' Up! This and That collection. So I'm just going to put a couple of pieces down along the bottom. Just like so. Now I have a few of these just left over. There we go. And at the top, I'm going to make a flower from the cotton paper. So I've gone ahead and I've punched, using the blossom punch, a whole stack in the green cotton paper. So I'm going to put these all into a big stack. The thing I love most about this cotton paper is that when it's scrunched, the paper retains the shape. So once you've got it all stacked up, grab your paper piercer, pierce through the centre, take a bread, I've chosen this bread here that I had in my stash, and then one layer at a time, fold up and squash. So this will take a little time as you go through each one. Okay, so there's your flower. And that is going to be attached here at the top. So I'm just going to use some double sided tape to hold my flower on the top there. I'm just going to open it up a little because I still want to be able to see the brad inside. So there's the cover. If I go back and grab my piece that I started with, this onto the front and then I have my journal card tucked in and there you have it there. Now I've done a few of these just to show you some different ones so I've made this one here and I used the dies from the kit to cut out the hearts at the front also the pieces here on the tag this is the enjoy that's been cut from black paper I've just put a bit of washi around the outside to make a band. I've also embossed this with the hearts. So that's the enjoy one. I used the butterfly wishes one for this one here. So again, the card fits in. Up nicely, slide it down. There we go. So that just using that stamp set, building up the layers with the different stamps in the set and then cutting out the dynamic. Not the dynamic the thinlet I should say. This one I've used cotton paper to make the treat bag. I used the heart and I've just put that onto some white cardstock, cut it out, made the banners and these are just some leftover stickers and things that I had lying around. And another one here. So I had lots and lots of alpha stickers and bits and pieces that I purchased out of kits. So I've made up the mini treat bag and again it has the 
the card in there fits in beautifully. And I've also used it for this one here as a birthday one. I've used the the balloon die cut and I've added on some liquid pearls down the bottom for the string that's for the balloon. So I've been using up a lot of my scraps to make these ones up and I just think that they're a nice idea, something a little bit different to, to making cards but also a lot of fun to make and a lot of fun to give. Thank you for watching.